Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Pavin. I'm an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. Okay, the training camps have continued. Um, Hinata is making moves, you know. The boys are taking notice of his observational skills. He was hitting left side a little bit. Is that foreshadowing? I don't know. Um, but I loved what he was seeing just by watching the two on two match, the advice he was giving. Um, Tsukushima's little, you know, practice blocking, you know, the deceptive hitters. Um, seeing what's going on at the national team training camp with Kageyama. Um, and the aces and just how like interesting <laughs> they all are. Just like wanting attention, being insecure, having to be noticed, being like, there's just so much going on there. Um, so I'd love to hear more about that. Um, but today we're watching Haikyuu season four, episode five, Hunger. Um, I'm curious where this is going to go. Um, we've been observing the training camps. We've been seeing the growth, meeting new characters, which is all amazing. You know, I love it. So yeah, I'm very excited to see what this episode has in store for us. So without any further ado, here we go. Season four, episode five of Haikyuu, Hunger. うん。ちょっと don't let them get in your head, okay? Kagemo Okay, yes, let it see. I'm this is gonna be good. This is gonna be a very good episode. I just feel it in my bones. Okay, I think that Kageyama, I, I already have goosebumps thinking about what's gonna happen here. I think Kageyama is gonna hit another turning point here today literally full body chills i don't know what is coming over me right now but i'm clearly very excited okay let's do this He's the one hitting it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
守備系苦手っぽいけどスタミナはあるしなそれにあいつリーチが長いから攻めたつもりのボールも<笑> Oh baby ナイスおー、グッソフトブロック、グッチョイス。Okay, good set. Oh, a jump set! Okay. I find it very interesting that they're playing two on two and blocking. Um, that's beach volleyball style and on a hard court with that, I'm... That's wild. Like... <laughs> If you're one on one attacking indoor, you have all the advantage. So, and the court is very big, and you can jump well because it's a hard surface. So, it's like, I'm shocked that they're managing to play two on two with one person blocking. Just gonna throw it out there. <laughs> <laughs> you were being so detailed. Time to learn about Ushijima. He invited himself. <laughs> Not creepy at all. Oh my gosh. Shakuzawa was not even in the zip code of that attack. He was just like standing there. Dude, you play on the same team. <laughs> he's not your rival. P.S. He's like going pro or to university or whatever. So you're not even going to be playing against him for like at least another two or three years. So like, <laughs> I get embarrassed sometimes when I see comments like that. This doesn't even scratch the surface of how embarrassed I was in episodes one and two, but like, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You bowl cut brat, stroke. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt the pride. Oh gosh, no. No, no, no. Wait, what was his answer? What would... What was Ushijima's answer to Hinata's question? And what did Goshiki ask? Because you know, he just made up some random question right on the spot. What was it? I want to know. <laughs> oh, okay. That's it. Oh my gosh, Hinata being the little mirror. I wonder what Tendo said. I'm upset. I need a microphone on them at all times. His favorite vantage point, the baby crow's perch. I'm so excited. Hmm. Nice tag. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> the position shuffle, love the name. Kagama is just good. Is that on purpose? <laughs> I will say to build on that, this is their time of discovery and appreciation for other positions. Cause I would say that a lot of the time you play your position, you think that your job is the hardest, that you like your role demands the most, blah, blah, blah. And then you don't always appreciate what your teammates and what the other positions have to do. So I would just wanted to build on that and hopefully they have an appreciation for how good their teammates and the other guys are too. Hmm. Building off of what Hinata was saying in the other episode, take it easy. <laughs> Oh, the smile. Oof, nice swing. It's true. <laughs> oh, that is so true. I just love watching the little baby fly. Look at him. Go. Oh, I love his hair flapping. You don't always appreciate a good setter that you have until you then go to a not good setter. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I had a pretty good. Yes, I did. 
and I always, something that I say often is like, a mediocre setter can make a great team very average, and an amazing setter can make an average team very good. And I think this is kind of tied into what we were just seeing um, the coaches talking about with the setting is like, set a good setter makes their hitters look so good. Um, to the point that the hitters, and hitters can kind of be dumb sometimes, they think, they're like, oh yeah, it's all me. I've gotten so much better, I'm so good. It's like, okay, yeah, maybe, but like your setter just made you look amazing. And like, as we've seen through this whole series, it's the Kagiyama Hinata relationship personified. Okay, Hinata could barely like walk and chew gum, but Kageyama has made Hinata like the talk of the town. So yes, amen to everything they were saying about setters was my long way of saying that. <laughs> Time to up the level, baby. What is your deal, dude? Just like growl at him. Time to give Mia the beat down at nationals, is all I'm saying. I like that guy. Back to Karasuno. Oh my gosh. No. Mm. 
He is the best. Can I have your email address? <sighs> oh my gosh, even better. <laughs> he misses him. お前は中学の子と気にしすぎ。お前は精一杯やったろ。別に。ただの雑談だろ。死んだか声よ。影山のとつ誰も打たなかったってやつか。でも喧嘩するくらい普通だ。喧嘩譲れなくて喧嘩
put himself and Hinata on the same level. Nothing to say, just find it very curious. Okay. I missed you, my friend. Not gonna happen. Hug each other. Oh, know that. They will never change. Shaggy balls. His smile, though. Oh, my gosh. No. Did I just get tears in my eyes? I did. Uh, that whole interaction was so typical Kageyama and Hinata, like textbook. <sighs> but that little, oh, that was sweet. Yes, I got, I got a little teary-eyed there. You can fly even higher. I just melted. <laughs> um, also, question, did Tanaka's voice actor change? I've noticed it for the a couple episodes now that he didn't sound the same. Um, maybe because he wasn't like yelling, which he usually is, but his voice does sound different. So did they change his voice actor? But I do love that the boys are back together. That's all. Karasuno. Yes, we get to see Aomi again, and Futakuchi, and the setter, whose name I struggle with, Kogei, Kogei, help me out. Yay, I love Datiko, you know I do. <sighs> okay, 
that was great. I made so much commentary during that. Um, that really, I don't have much else to say right now other than I'm so happy that the boys are back together. Um, just wanted to say Hinata wasn't practicing for five days, so he of course should have won that race, just saying. Um, but I think maybe they have a little bit of an appreciation for each other. We know that they missed each other very, very much. And that whole like them setting back and forth was just the best friends are back. So I'm really happy about that. Um, really looking forward to this practice match coming up, but yeah, loved that little beginning part of season four. I liked the switch up. I liked the two separate training camps to see the evolution of each player and what they were learning. Um, got to meet some new characters that we will for sure see in the spring tournament. So really, really loved these first five episodes that laid us a really solid foundation for the rest of the season and series. <laughs> um, so yeah, hit me up. Let me know your thoughts. I asked a couple questions, so I'd love to hear what you think. Um, and as always, I would love it if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and yeah, let's keep watching Haikyuu together, because it's the best. Bye.